What's up guys, Nick Vanelli here, creator of Fact Fitness. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through an instructional pull workout. Hope you enjoy. For our first exercise here, we're gonna be starting with pull-ups. We're gonna be doing them assisted because this is one of the movements that I cannot do for my dear life. So we're gonna aim for four sets here, eight to 10 reps. And what we're gonna do is a slower tempo on the way down and we're going to go up for one. So about three seconds on the descending, one second on the way up. The key thing to look for when you're doing pull-ups is essentially what you want is you want to keep your elbow inwards and not have it forced out. So if you come on the side here, when you have your hand here, you want to make sure that when you pull up, the elbow is in versus doing this. Okay, because that's going to be a lot of pressure on the shoulder. This way you're going to get better contraction on the lat. And another thing is when you're doing all your pull movements, you want to imagine like the thumb isn't there. So you're using the four fingers here as a hook and then you're engaging with the elbow. So every movement that you do, you want to be pulling up with the elbow and not using the thumb, because that's going to activate too, many, too much biceps. Next up on the list, we're going to be doing a unilateral, isolateral pull down. And this is going to be from the top here. What I like to do is I like to sit myself down sideways, getting a good stretch in the lat, and holding on to the, the seat here, and coming down, squeezing. Engaging with that elbow coming down. So here we're doing three sets, 12 reps on each arm. For our next exercise here, we're gonna be doing a close grip pull down. What we're gonna do here is, uh, we're gonna work more of the rhomboids and traps because the other two movements was more for the lats, more for the width. This is gonna be more for now the thickness of the back. And what we're gonna do is four sets here by eight reps. And also at the bottom of the movement, we're gonna hold for one second, having the isometric and then coming up. Nice and slow. For our last back exercise here, we're going to be doing a serratus pull down. Now, key thing you want to notice on this movement here. A lot of people, a lot of people confuse this movement with doing a tricep roll push down. So if you're not standing super close, what you want to do is come back a little bit further. Having the feet close together, leaning forward, keeping the arms slightly bent versus more bent. So slightly bent here, coming down and coming towards you. Down and towards you in one motion. Here we're going to be doing three sets by 15 reps. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to biceps and what we're going to start off with is doing an easy curl bar curl and what we're going to do for hand positioning is just outside shoulder width or shoulder width and we're going to do four sets by 10 reps with the control on the way down. All the way down, locking up the triceps. So for our last movement of the day here, we're going to be doing a 
hammer curl with the dumbbells and we're going to be doing a K muscle round. So again, it's an overload method where you use a rest pause technique of 5 seconds to get 30 reps with a weight that you can normally get 10 reps with. And I'm going to speed this clip up because it's going to be a long one. The weight was a little bit too heavy on my right side, so we're gonna drop it. Never sacrifice the form. Come on. Come on. You can do it, you can do it, come on. Come on, four, four, four. Keep it filming. So that was an absolute grinder there, but that's a clear example that I want to show you guys right here is with my left arm, no problem. I can rep that for days. But with my right arm, it was starting to cause a little bit of trouble there and I couldn't really do it. So again, if that's the case, sacrifice the weight a little bit and keep it consistent on both arms. Just slow down the tempo on your stronger side. So I hope you guys did enjoy this instructional pull workout. I am enjoying doing these videos. So give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't, it helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.